Hello again. Let's do a little radio unboxing and review. So one of the great things about Christmas cash is you can uh, purchase something you don't really need and not feel too, too uh, guilty about it. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to look at this Texan radio that I purchased a while back and finally arrived in the midst of a snowstorm here. I don't know when I'm releasing this, but uh, we are still getting buried in snow here in Ohio. Uh, this is a uh, Texan DR920C radio, and if you want it quickly and you order it Amazon or from a an American seller uh, You can get it in a few days and spend I don't know 25 to 30 or 25 to 35 Dollars on it, but if you want to save a little bit and you don't mind waiting a month or six weeks for it to arrive uh, you can also find them from uh, direct from China Chinese sellers AliExpress or on eBay and uh Save some money, um, takes a little time to get there, so it's like a surprise when it finally arrives. Uh, but you also get a box where all of the writing is in a language that you do not understand if you are me or like me. So, let's take a look at what we have here. We have presumably... Maybe warranty information also in uh, Chinese characters. Probably the instruction book in Chinese characters. Won't bother with that. Comes in this brown pouch. Set that aside. And here we are. This is an analog, all analog radio. So the tuning is all analog. There's no chip for tuning. Uh, but it does have a uh, digital readout. So you can more accurately see where you are on the, uh, on the frequencies. Let me get that focused a little better here. Okay, uh, so you can see we have FM, medium wave, or AM, and then over here, short wave is broken up into 10 separate short wave bands. Uh, on the right side, tuning knob, power switch. On the left side, we have headphone jack and uh, charging. Well, that may be just power. I'm not sure whether it can charge from that or not. Uh, this does run on two... AA batteries, so I have some Duracells in there. I don't know if you put rechargeable batteries in, if that um, jack will then charge, I'm not sure. I have a little frequency chart here and a uh, stand so that your radio will stand up handy. It's got a pretty long whip antenna. Didn't measure it, but it looks like a good close to two feet. Um, let's, let's compare this with the other radio I've been featuring here on this channel, which is also a Texan and also comes in one of these weird little brown pouches. And this one does not have a stand on the back, which is a negative for me, but that's about the only negative I can say about this. This is a fine outstanding radio. Uh, so, you can see size comparison. The uh, 920C is a bit smaller. Uh, the uh, 920C does not have direct dial input for frequencies as we have in the number pad here because this is again all analog 
So if you like an analog radio, which is for me way more fun to tune than a digital radio, but if you like analog but have trouble reading the little dial, such as on this cheap Kachibo radio, also all analog. Uh, but really hard to read that dial, especially when you're doing it late at night, which is generally when you're listening to the radio, or at least I am. Uh, but so anyway, good choice with the big digital readout. And does the light work? Yeah. Even when the power's off, the light still works. So we have a backlight that'll stay on for 10 seconds when you press that button. Also has a alarm a sleep function, which is nice. So it'll play while you're dozing off and won't play all night and wear out your battery. Um, the difference between digital tuning and analog tuning, well, there's a lot of differences, but the uh, major difference, you can it can be easily demonstrated here. I think it's easier to hear the difference here on uh, shortwave. When you're searching through the shortwave bands, hear that chug, 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 chug as you're going through. On this radio, let's put it on shortwave. I'm scanning through, and first of all, you can go and it's like 0.5 megahertz increments or um, point f uh, 5 kilohertz, sorry, increments. And there's no muting in between, there's no chug, 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 it's all smooth. So you can kind of more finely hone in. I'm not picking anything up right now because we're in the middle of the day. But... So that's the, the major difference um, between digital tuning and analog. And analog is just a little more fun, I think. A couple other differences. The uh, whip antenna on this is actually a little bit longer than on that higher-end radio. Uh, this is about mm, a third of the price of that uh, digital Texan uh, this does not have single sideband, so you can't pick up the people on ham frequencies. Uh, you can hear them, but you cannot understand what they're saying. They sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. Uh, so if you don't have single sideband, you won't be able to make out what they're saying. But you can find them talking on this radio. I, I was listening to that this morning a little bit. Um, Anything else? Little uh, port there for the speaker. The sound is actually quite good uh, for such a little device. Uh, I don't know if I went all the way around. The volume knob is here. And anything else? The light. I think I pretty much covered it. Um, only just got it, so I haven't uh, had a lot of time to fool around with it. But immediately following this little intro, I will uh, scan through the AM bands and see what we can find there. Okay, so you can see it's a little after seven, so we have maybe half hour until sunrise, and we're at the tail end of a, what I'm hoping is the tail end of a snowstorm, so let's just see what we can hear. that 
coming your way with Inez. Also, uh, and, and by the way, this snowstorm we've been dealing with for the past uh, 24 to now 48 hours here, it's, it's about to wrap up here in just a little bit. But we'd love to hear from you, uh, your neck of yep. the woods, what you got. Expected quarterly results and issued a profit warning. The CEO, though, told analysts the company is in a good position now to pass price increases along to consumers. In fact, oh, I expect a lot more than I do have one question before we start. Where's the coffee? I can't find any coffee. Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. already seen with Americans who come back nearly dead or dead that they can be brutal and they don't care if you're an Olympic athlete they don't care if the world's watching they'll do what they think is Former Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke was released from prison. They want federal civil rights charges filed against him for the shooting that... near Route 315 and Henderson Road. I take a pill to sleep. Don't worry, I take my pill. I go to sleep. I've got a good pill to go to sleep. And, and I've had people tell me, you know, there are uh, uh, THC uh, mm -hmm. versions.
Pickup on delivery available. Drink responsibly. D21. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save over $700. any kind of residue from the soybeans, right? What they're probably looking for are soybeans that may have uh, been...
into the meter. Now for more tech tips and exclusive links and videos. reached the top. Okay, so the Texan DR920C um, is a definite thumbs up from me. Uh, why do I need uh, this when I have that other Texan and that cheap Kachibo? Well, this is somewhere in between. It's analog like the Kachibo, which makes it a lot more fun. Um, but uh, much better reception I'm finding on AM and shortwave than that Kachibo. The Kachibo isn't bad. It's a dirt cheap radio, um, and it kind of feels like a dirt cheap radio, but it's uh, still a lot of fun to play with, and you can uh, stuff it in your backpack and go, and you don't have to worry about it getting damaged or something because it was so dirt cheap. Uh, this one's maybe a little higher quality, but if you're going to travel, I don't know that I would want to take the, the higher end Texan with me. Uh, and this does uh, a pretty darn good job. Uh, again, for those of us with vision that isn't the best, reading a, a dial on an analog radio can be a challenge. But here, that is not an issue. And this uh, seems really accurate from what I was able to see in just a brief test. So definitely give it a thumbs up. If uh, listening to AM radio is your thing, uh, this is a pretty good one. Maybe not... As super sensitive as the other Texan, but at a third of the price, um, it's nearly as as sensitive as that. So, yeah, a lot of fun to play with. I will uh, probably be revisiting this radio in the future. Thanks for joining me for this little review, and maybe I'll see you again next time.